Hi! Okay, so what do we have here? I've been waiting for this a long time. Finally arrived. So, as you can see, this is a super capacitor. What this is, this is capacitor with very high capacitance uh, when you consider it to regular electrolyte capacitor and what another uh, something that is different than other capacitor is that the voltage is pretty low. You can see this is 2.7 volts. This is the maximum voltage allowed in order not to ruin this capacitor. The uh, value is 100 farad, which is a lot. And what is uh, something, other interesting things is two things. First, the internal impedance claim to be 8 milli ohms. And the short current is 225 amps. This is by the data sheet. So I have to check it. And I had someone that asked me, how do you know what is the uh, capacity compared to battery? So let's go over the formula and try to understand how it goes. Okay, so how do we know the conversion and how to do it? So if I am not mistaken, the energy of capacitor is equal to half C multiplied by V power of 2. C is capacitance in farad and V of course is the voltage in volts. So this is the energy of capacitor and the number are in joules. Now let's look at a battery. In a battery, the total energy will be equal to V multiplied with ampere hour of the battery, which is, in our example, we will use the same voltage uh, if we consider the same battery with the same voltage. So in our case, in order to convert ampere hour to joule, we have to do volt multiply with our ampere and hour multiply with 6300. Why is that? Because we have 60 minutes and in each minute we have 60 seconds. This is the convert to joules. So it will be 6300 multiply with the voltage of the battery and that's all so let's see what we get if we will look at the capacitor so the energy will be of course a half multiply with 100 multiply is 2.7 power of 2 let's see what we get half multiply with 100 multiply with 2.7 power of 2 and we get 364.5 joules if the battery is the same voltage so we will have 2.7 multiply uh, let's say uh, the same size of battery will be 2 ampere hour I guess so it will be 2 ampere hour and we need to multiply with uh, 3600 so let's see what we get 2.7 multiply with 2 multiply with this number and what we get is total of 9000 440 joules. Now I would like to know battery in the same size how much power or capacity it have more 
then this capacitor. So I need to divide these two numbers. So the division will give us this number divided by this number. Let's see what we get. So theoretically, battery will in the same size will be 53.3 times more energy than this capacitor. Now I'm not very sure about all my calculation, if I'm right or I'm wrong, but let's uh, measure the uh, capacity of this. So in order to measure it, of course I can supply a load. I need first to charge it to maximum voltage, 2.7 volt, and then I need to discharge it using any kind of, uh, of meters that I can that will eventually show us what are the numbers. So let's do it and will be more clever with the results. Okay, so let's power it. Now in order to, to show it on the camera, I will put it like this. And now, first, we take our capacitor. We will charge it till it is fully charged and then we will do the test. Of course be careful when charging this capacitor, but first before doing it, let's check the resistance, the internal resistance that claim to be uh, 8 millions by the data sheet it's 8 million so I'm pretty curious to know if it can get to this number so let's check it in real life so I'm using this very accurate battery analyzer because this is like a battery you can see 5.4 milli ohms wow this is pretty this is even better than in the data sheet wow this is very nice number that confirms that the battery can supply the very high current that they claim that is more than 200 amps in a short so now let's charge it 2.7 I'm charging it very fast with 1 amps uh, sorry 3 amps so the capacitor is now charging it is not even getting hot because it's meant to get a lot of power the the power and the internal low resistance doesn't allow it to get heat. Of course, it is not getting heat because of the very low internal resistance. So now I am already at 2 volts, charging at 3 amps and going continuing. Sorry for the reflection. Okay, it's already 2.6 volts. I will show you that I'm not bluffing, maybe. So now, while charging it, with the same time, look in the fluke. We can see 2.6 going 
to 2.7 which is the maximum allowed voltage Okay, I think it's good enough, it's almost 2.7 and now what I want to do is to discharge it with a low current, not a high current in order to, to get the maximum capacity out so let's connect it to our electronic load you can see the voltage 2.6 I will put it in the frame and now we will apply a very low current discharge and go as low as I can one hundred milliamps maybe a little one a little between 100 and 120 and we are looking now at the capacity so we will wait till it is fully discharged and we will get the number So eventually it finished and we can see here that the current is only uh, 17 milliamps 17 milliamp hour this is a very tiny number I expect to expect it to get a little more now the last thing that I want to do is to measure the actual capacity but any instrument that I have here will not be able to measure such a high uh, capacitance so in order to measure the capacitance we will use the tau is equal to uh, R multiply with C this is the uh, a constant a value of, of the capacitor till it reach 63% of its value so this means that I can now calculate the C the C will be uh, will be the time divided by R yes yes because the time is the, the constant of uh, C multiplied with R yes this is the constant time so the capacitance will be the time divided by the resistor what does this mean? This means that in order to measure the capacitance, what I need to do is to charge these capacitors to get it to reach 63% of its capacitance. And when I take the time and divide it by the R that I'm using in order to charge it, I will be able to know the real capacitance of these capacitors. So I found a resistor. The resistor is 3.9 ohms. Now, so now what I need to do is 
charge the capacitor till it reach this uh, 63.2% of its value and then if I take this time and divide by this number of the resistor so I will be able to know the real capacitance this is how it works so first let's measure the real value of this resistor by the way I need a power resistor this is 3.7 actually okay so this will be 3.7 why do I need power resistor because when it is fully discharged so the current of course will be the voltage minus zero because it is discharged divided by the resistor and this is the current is high and I need a power resistor that will not burn out let's calculate what is 63% so since the voltage is top 2.7 let's multiply with 63.2% so we need the voltage to get to 1.7 volts yes and when we get to 1.7 volts we stop the charge we have the time we will divide it with the 3.7 so time divided by 3.7 ohm will be the capacitance of the capacitor yes this is our formula so now we will be able to know if they sold me the capacitors that meet the capacitance that they declare I want to make sure that it is real 100 fraud okay so let's do the test okay so we have the capacitor with the resistor of 3.7 ohm we have the timer we have our power supply I will set it to 2.7 volts we need to stop it while we get to 1.7 volts I will set the current to be enough and let's start so starting to charge it now now we want to wait till it will get to 1.7 volts Stop. Okay, not bad. I have to admit, this is not bad at all. Let's disconnect. Try not to do any short. Not bad. So now let's calculate the real capacitance. So we have 6 minutes and 4 seconds. So this is, of course, 
will be uh, 6 multiplied by uh, 60 seconds so it's uh, 360 plus 4 seconds so 664 seconds like let's take this number divided by 3.7 and this is our real capacitance so let's do it 364 divided by 3.7 and we get wow 98 farad 98 farad this is very accept acceptable and I'm pretty amazed of the results so this is a very good capacitor and it is as it is rated it is a little about 1% of the rated value wow amazing also we seen that it was written that it is 8 milli ohms ah we didn't see but it is written on the data sheet and while measuring it is about 5.5 milli ohms so the rated internal impedance is even better than written in the data sheet and also the capacitance as you can see is very very close to the rated value so hope you learn something for this and that's all thank you and bye